The port city of Vysotsk is located in the Vyborg district of the Leningrad region, 35 kilometers from the Russian-Finnish state border. In April of 2019, a liquefied natural gas production and transshipment plant was opened there, on the coast of the northeastern part of the Gulf of Finland. This is Russia's first medium-scale LNG plant with an annual production and shipment capacity of 660,000 tons. Construction of this strategically important facility started in 2016. An enormous construction project has unfolded on a forest plot of undeveloped territory. Felled trees were sold through a state auction. Builders also encountered heavy obstacles in their way. They had to tear into rocky soil and move very large till stones. Construction began with the arrangement of the access road. To ensure passage of heavy-duty equipment, the road was built of concrete slabs. To maintain continuous construction and installation works, a site was organized for materials and equipment storage. A temporary builder's camp was erected on the site of the facility, including administrative, household and storage facilities. Upon completion of the preparatory works, construction of a jetty to receive large oversized cargo and that of coastal infrastructure had begun. The jetty is located on the northern shore of the Gulf of Finland at the approach to the inner Vysotsk harbour of the Vyborg Bay, close to the northwestern part of the South Transund Cape of Vysotsky Island. Oversized and heavy-duty equipment was unloaded on that jetty. During the construction of the jetty itself, major construction equipment, marine cranes and self-lifting platforms arrived by sea, while building materials were brought in by land. The jetty consists of special metal plates, sheet piling, and piles with a diameter of 1,220 millimeters. These were buried to a depth of more than 16 meters, since they have to bear the main load. While completing the construction of the temporary jetty, the second stage began, that of construction of gas pipeline branching from pipelines leningrad Vyborg State Border 1 and 2 to the new plant at the port of Vysorsk. To maintain work continuity, temporary bases for builders and warehouses for storing materials were created. Furthermore, the necessary amount of large diameter pipes was prepared. The second stage also began with the work of felling down and selling the forest. It was necessary to lay lodges, temporary roads along the entire route of the future gas pipeline. At the end of the preparatory work, construction of the trench began. Special transport delivered pipes via the newly laid road. Welding and laying of these pipes began. On its route, the branch gas pipeline crossed three bays of the Gulf of Finland, as well as rivers, roads and railways. To cross them, the pipeline builders used special concreted pipes, steel cases and concrete rings. The work was carried out using the method of punching, directional drilling and micro-tunneling. During the construction process, valve units, pig launch and reception chambers were installed. The next task was to tie into the gas pipelines, as well as into the gas pipeline branching to the Vyborg Cellulose Gas Distribution Station. 
For that purpose, the Leningrad Vyborg State Border 1 and 2 gas pipelines and the Vyborg Cellulose Branch Gas Pipeline Branch were shut down one after another. These works were completed in parallel with the beginning of the plant third stage, construction of the LNG production area and shiploading jetty. Works started with piling and were followed by the installation of the metalworks, equipment, piping and cabling. An isothermal tank with a storage capacity of 42,000 cubic meters was built to store LNG. The tank consists of an external pre-stressed concrete shell and an internal tank of nickel alloy steel, which enables liquefied natural gas to be stored at temperatures down to minus 165 degrees Celsius. Due to specific geological conditions, reinforced concrete piles, 1,020 millimeters in diameter, on which the foundation slab rests, were used as the construction base of the tank. Reinforced concrete walls of the tank were erected working round the clock to operate with a sliding formwork of continuous concrete laying. The dome of the tank was assembled at the bottom of the tank with its separate elements connected and then the dome was raised to its design position by feeding compressed air inside the tank. It was the first time that this kind of pneumatic lifting technology has been applied in Russia. During the construction of the terminal, modular structures and equipment were used. E.g. natural gas pretreatment systems of the terminal, where mercury, acid components and moisture are removed from the feed gas, consists of 16 process modules, delivered from the supplier's warehouses prefabricated, manufactured at a specialized plant in Kaliningrad. Up to 80% of process equipment of the pretreatment area was manufactured in Russian Federation. Modular design helped to reduce the area occupied by the plant and decrease construction time needed. Modules and other process equipment were delivered to the construction site by sea. The total mass of equipment unloaded to the jetty was about 2,200 tons. And its heaviest unit, the cold box, weighs 240 tons. To unload and install it, construction cranes with a lifting capacity of up to 750 tons were used. Cold box is where the process of natural gas liquefaction itself takes place. Gas phase change is caused by its sequential cooling with a special refrigerant. The temperature of liquefied natural gas at the cold box outlet is minus 162 degrees Celsius. There are two cold boxes at the plant, one for each of the two liquefaction trains. Normal capacity of each train is 40 tons of product per hour. The heart of each liquefaction train and the plant as a whole is a mixed refrigerant compressor unit driven by a 22 MW gas turbine engine. It was designed especially for these trains and at the end of the construction and installation work, tests were run on it. The highest facility at the plant is its flare unit. It's 94 meters high and the mass of metal structure of the flare stack is 245 tons. In parallel with the construction and installation work to erect the tank and build production area of the terminal, further fitting and construction of the jetty to transship liquefied natural gas were in full swing in the waters of the Gulf of Finland. Works included installing pile foundations built of pipes of 1,420 millimeters in diameter, concreting the upper structures, laying of the reinforced concrete slabs and installation of the spanning metal structures. The final stage of constructing the liquefied natural gas transshipment jetty consisted of installing the standards necessary to upload LNG to gas carrier ships and bunker vessels. Plant can also load its product to the trucks and ISO tanks. 
all the construction works were performed with environmental protection measures taken into account. A special commission assessed the impact of each action by the builders on the environment in order to prevent any potential damage. Air and water parameters were monitored and noise measurements were performed both near the plant under construction and in the nearest settlements. After the plant and jetties were built, the branch gas pipeline was tied in into the main gas pipeline. Commissioning was carried out and the plant was launched. In April of 2019, the first liquefied natural gas entered the tank and the complex was run in test mode for 72 hours non-stop, which meant putting the facility into operation and then start of its normal operation. The plant is producing 660,000 tonnes of liquefied natural gas annually, with a significant part of it being exported. Quite important is the fact that most of the equipment for the plant was produced by Russian companies. A significant part of the gas produced is exported to Europe. However, this is not the main task of the new terminal. Implementation of the project helped create 163 permanent jobs in the Vyborg district. In just three years here in Vysotsk, a major industrial facility has grown from scratch, both giving a huge impetus to the development of the region at a local level and opening new horizons for the Russian economy as a whole.